Hi everybody, it's Carl here again. Today we're going to teach you how to replace your rotating image at the top here. First of all, we'll find what size it is and then we'll upload a new one uh, to add to the existing one here. And we'll show you how to also disable one. So from the back end of your website, we're going to go up here to components and go to Unite Revolution slider number two. As you'll see there, there'll be one there called Top Rotator or something similar. So you can click on that once. Now what this will show you here is the width, which is 1440 by the height, which is 500. Yours might be slightly different. In the same area, you can actually go and change the delay, which is the actual amount of time the uh, before it sw uh, swaps to the next rotator. You can, you can swap that over there. Um, and you can also turn on uh, this shuffle mode. If you do, that will randomize the actual images and when they appear instead of showing this, the first one uh, first all the time. From there, we can go edit slides. As you can see, we've got one here at the moment. Um, if we go new slide and we go into our top rotators, which is where I'm storing them all, and then you can click choose files. You're going to select a new one, double click it, you'll see it appears here. You click start upload. And once it appears there, you click it once and click insert. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go back to the website. So I'll just go back to the website here and refresh. So it will show that first one again first because we didn't choose randomize yet and there's our next image and as you click through it will just keep cycling through those images. Now say for instance you might want to link uh, one of these images to another page as an example maybe the uh, um, maybe the, to the contact us page which is uh, just here so we'll grab that URL just 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 grab that the URL at the top there and we can actually add that URL. You might even want to link it to another website if you wish. So you go onto the slide here, click edit slide and down here we just turn on enable link and go enable and you can paste in the URL there. It's actually that URL there. Once we've done that we can just click uh, up here the little uh, green curly arrows and that will save that. Um, the other thing that you might like to do is uh, you might have a bunch of slides up there but not want them all being displayed. So up in components we go back to the program Unite Revolution Slider and you can actually click the Edit Slides button and you can actually just turn one off like here. Just turn that off and that way that one won't appear. There you go. Thank you.